Hi, I'm Dave. I'm going to show you some tricks or tips, if you will, on how to do this knotty pine ceiling business. Okay, halfway through the project, here's some things right here. Use these uh, large tumblers for your uh, paint tray. Use the small ones to dish inside the Hellman Spar urethane. Uh, we did not stain it. It's just sanded uh, with one coat and then lightly sanded with some 220 in between for the second coat. And so uh, this alone here saves a lot of time. These are just regular nylon brushes. We get them at this uh, restore. They're about $2 a piece. I put them in the refrigerator with some uh, urethane in there to keep it. I'm able to use this, reuse this brush about seven or eight times. That saves a lot of time and money right there. All right, going outside. I'm just about done. I do about three rows a day. That living room is about 40 feet by 16 feet. So three rows a day is about, uh, I don't know. I use 16 foot boards, 12 foot boards, eight and four. And the stagger is uh, consistent. So just put on the, the polyurethane with this brush. When the brush is new, you might get a, a bristle or two that stick to the, that comes off and sticks to the board. But I try to put on a pretty thin coat. And I like using a brush because I know it's getting pushed into all the joints. I've sanded this with uh, my little sander. Can you see it over there up against the... That's got 220 sand sandpaper on, just a little palm sander. Right there. Up against the window. See the bottom of the sandpaper? So I sand the boards before I put this coat of poly on them. And I use this compressor behind me with the air jet nozzle on it to spray off uh, all the sandpaper or all the, the the dust. And in these knots, the, when you uh, sand it, the the sand or when you the when you sand it with the sander, it gets uh, little fine particles in those knots. So you really have to use that jet to blow out all the the dust. Um, This is Ponderosa Pine, the 16-footers. I bought 12-footers and 8. I got these off Craigslist from a guy that had them. These are Inter 4 Classic uh, Ponderosa Pine Select, the 16-footers I'm using. The other ones I bought just from Home Depot, and I, I, they're just some sort of white pine, uh, and they seem to look... Uh, just as good as this ponderosa pine. The ponderosa pine seems to have a little bit more uniformity, but if you go and dig through the stacks at Home Depot, you can find plenty of beautiful boards that'll match right up. I think if I'd do it all over again, I'd probably just use 12s, 8s, and 4s and use my pattern. Do the my pattern. There's a little something right there. I don't know what it is. But just wipe it off with your finger, go right back over it. And the nice thing about using these cups is you just toss them away when you're done and you don't have to deal with it. See, I got a couple out there in the yard already. I tried to use a paint tray over there with a plastic bag liner, but these cups are easier to handle. So this board's almost done. I'm going to take you back inside and just kind of show you how I did my staggers on uh, anyway I try to do like I said about three rows a day each one of these boards is five inches so that's about 15 inches of completed ceiling every day okay there you go all right come on back in here Here's all of the completed boards there. Alright, let me see the camera. Alright, so as you can see, 
the joints here are at four feet. Every fourth row you get a, a joint at four feet. The next one's at eight, 12, and then 16. I can show you my little paper. This kind of shows the rest of the pattern as it lays out for my room. So those are where all the joints are going to be, those little vertical lines. And so that gives you a nice pattern in your room. I laid out the lights where they split between two boards. That way the board didn't get too weak and trying to hang it. The air vents, I just cut the tongue off that one and I was okay with that. I got a couple of ceiling fans going right there. So that one will be split between two boards. Anyway, there it is, Naughty Pine ceiling. Hope these tips and tricks help you in your project. Bye.